So I'm sitting in the car as my parents drive me somewhere and nothing out of the ordinary is really happening, right? I'm just enjoying my typical everyday content consumption. In other words, I'm scrolling on my phone. <laughs> I'm scrolling on my phone like crazy, okay? And to make matters worse, I was actually listening to a shit ton of music on top of that. So all I was really doing was just stimulating myself with high dopamine activities. I wasn't doing anything that, that would particularly benefit me. So surprisingly, very surprisingly, my friend, by the time I come back home and try to focus on my work or YouTube or anything, really, I would get upset that I was pretty much unable to focus. You know, there was so much fog in my brain that actually putting it into some work was pretty much impossible, right? There was too much fog for me to actually see see anything through it, you know what I mean? And I'm pretty sure this is something that a lot of guys can relate to nowadays. And once we're living in a times where everybody has a TikTok account, everybody's like scrolling at least for like two hours a day, it's very hard to focus on certain things. And our productivity has actually been dropping over the past few years. I wonder why. <laughs> but yeah, you get the general idea, right? I don't wanna I don't wanna fill you with all of that bushwhat everybody's telling you of like uh, how to achieve a perfect flow state, blah, blah, blah. the way you achieve a perfect flow state is you find your purpose. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, you've seen all of that fucking bushwhat already, haven't you? <laughs> you've seen all of these thousands of videos, and I really don't wanna waste your time, okay? I really don't wanna waste your time, my friend. However, something that I've learned recently has actually affected my uh, productivity drastically. And th don't worry, this isn't anything I can super out of the ordinary. It's just a little mindset switch. It's a little concept, which when applied correctly, can actually enhance your self-improvement and your productivity like crazy, okay? So yeah, let's not hype it up any further. Let's get straight to it. Imagine that every day, as soon as you wake up, as soon as you open up your fucking eyelids in your bedroom, as I like to say in my videos a lot, you start off with 100 brain percent. Think of your brain as an engine, right? The moment you wake up, it's like the engine turns on and it's running at 100% capacity, right? However, as you slowly go about your day, there are gonna be tasks which are gonna require a little bit of brain power, right? You're gonna go to school, which is gonna drain a lot of your energy. You're gonna, you're gonna go to work, which is also gonna drain a lot of energy. So the point that I'm trying to make is, by the time you get to like 11 or 12 p.m., the, the hour you go to sleep, right? You have barely any brain percent left. It's like you're pretty much running on no energy. So of course you're gonna find it very hard to focus in that time frame, right? What most people do, my friend, is instead of trying to save as many brain points or brain percents as possible, they do the activities which end up actually taking away the brain points. They don't do what's right. They don't try to save the brain percent. They're just willingly taking them away. They're they're giving it away to nobody, right? They're choosing to do activities which give them no benefits. Here they are. Oh, actually, actually, I'm gonna ask you the question. What what does the average person do as soon as he wakes up? The first thing most people do is uh, they grab their phone and they start checking it. Oh, maybe maybe I got a new notification. Before they even get to climb out of fucking bed, they're already scrolling on their phone, checking their load notifications. That's that's already like 5% out of the window. Just as a fresh start, you're already wasting like 5%. No, no, let's go further, actually. Let's go further. What do they do next? They eat their very chemical, like unhealthy breakfast of like cereal, like Fruit Loops or some shit like that. That's another 10% like out of the window, just like that. So really, really take into account how many of these like negative activities people actually do before they even get to start work, before they even go to school. And then they wonder why their grades are dropping. And then they wonder why they're unable to focus on all that stuff. You need to make sure that whatever activities you are doing and whatever decisions you are taking, make sure you're trying to save as much brain power as possible all the way till you get to the hardest task of your day. And honestly, the best life hack I could give you is just start working in the morning. At the time uh, at the time I'm recording this video, right? It's, uh, wait, how do I show this? It's literally 6.30 in the morning. I purposely woke up uh, slightly after like uh, 5 p.m. No, wait, I woke up at like 5.50 <laughs> just so I can finish recording this video, right? And I can start editing. I'm trying to, I'm trying to save as much. I'm trying to save myself as much time as I can for the sake of being more productive. And honestly, honestly, I fucking love it. I fucking love it, right? I didn't get that much sleep tonight, which is, of course, not, not healthy for you, you know? But honestly, I feel better than ever. I feel better than ever just because I woke up with this new motivation, with this new mindset. Yeah, this new drive to make a video that I know is going to help people, right? So the best way I can recommend for you to save your brain points is 
do your work in the morning. Do your work in the morning or avoid doing tasks which are gonna lead to just, you know, just zapping away all of that brain power you could have used for something more productive, right? So don't scroll, don't, you know, eat shitty food. I don't, I don't wanna fill you with all that shit, you know, everybody's already told you on the internet, you know? I don't wanna, I don't wanna repeat myself long story short. So I, I really hope you take into account what I've said in this video and that you apply this concept correctly because yeah, it can genuinely improve your life, but without wasting any time further, if you enjoyed the video and you want to talk to a talk to me directly, I'll send you on an amazing community of like-minded people who are all on self improvement and we all strive, you know, to become the best versions of yourself. So I'm pretty sure that me and my crew have the right thing. We have the, we have the right things, matter of fact, to be, make sure that you become the best version of yourself. If not, you can like, comment, subscribe, do, do whatever you think is right, honestly. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna force you to do anything. I'm not gonna throw my little fucking algorithm into your face. I don't do, I don't do that stuff. Don't worry about that. Yeah, bro, do whatever you think is right. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next one, brother. Take care.